Hi, everyone. Um, happy Monday or Tuesday, depending on if you're A day or B day. Hope you had a nice weekend. Um, for today, we're going to be starting our bell work. So that is our mug shots. It stands for mechanics, usage, and grammar. So this is where we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into uh, grammar concepts and correcting um, correcting any errors that we might have in our writing. Uh, if you are a virtual student, you can click here to complete the assignment. Um, on the assignment, I do have a link to how to use Google Slides. And I will also um, post a video after we are finished with the assignment. So we correct the errors in the sentences. Basically what um, we do in person is I give the kids about five minutes to look through and find all the errors that they can. And then we go through them all together. So this is really a completion um, points. Um, either you do it or you don't. Um, I will record a video during second hour as we go over the correct answers together every week. So every week you will have access to all of the correct answers. But what I want you to do is to try to find the errors on your own first and then watch the video just so that you are getting that practice of looking for those errors. That's what's really going to help build your knowledge of grammar versus just copying it down. Um, this week there are eight errors in sentence one and in sentence two. Okay. And um, again, I will post that video again for you um, after second hour. And I also have a, um, if I zoom in a little bit here, um, I also have a video linked on the Google slide of just how to use Google slides for the assignment itself. The next thing that we're going to do is our journal for today. And again, if you're watching this on B-Day, just ignore the fact that it says Monday, it would be Tuesday for you. So the journal for today, the prompt is, in what ways has technology had a negative impact on our quality of life? So we often talk about technology in terms of all of the good that it has done for our society and for our um, world, and it has done a lot of great things, but there are, there are also some negative aspects to it. Um, and so that's what you're going to kind of think about today. What are those negative aspects? How has it had a negative impact on our quality of life? Remember that you need to write three sentences to receive credit. They need to have correct capitalization and punctuation. So that's a capital letter at the beginning of each sentence and a period at the end of each sentence, as well as capitalizing any time that you use the word I. All right, next, we are taking the STAR test today. So even if you are virtual, you still need to take the STAR test unless you're notified otherwise. So you might remember that at the beginning of the year, um, we talked about how with the STAR test, if you uh, test at grade level or above during at any point in the year, then you don't have to take STAR anymore for the rest of the year. And if you test at a 12th grade level or higher, then you never have to take STAR again for the rest of your time in high school. So virtual students, I'm going to shoot you an email if you do not need to take the test. So if you do not get an email from me, then that means that you need to take it. OK, um, you can take it from home and just try your best. Um, any students who scored above the ninth grade level, but not quite to that 12th grade level, you're welcome to take it again as well, just to try to get to that 12th grade level so that you don't have to take it anymore in high school. But that's up to you. You don't have to. OK, so virtual students, you are still taking the test unless I send you an email saying that you don't need to take it. OK. So again, I'll say that one more time. Virtual students, you need to take the test unless you get an email from me saying not to take it, okay? You'll go to clever.com. You'll click sign in as student. If you haven't done this before, then you will need to select your school district, which is the Belton School District, okay? It will pop up and ask you to um, search for your district, okay? And then you'll just click on login with Google and it will log you in. Okay. I can't go through with that because I'm not a student. Let me go ahead and log on to the teacher side so that you can see what that looks like. I can just show you what the icon looks like that you're going to need to click on. Okay, so again, you will click on sign in as student. And then once you log in through Google, Right on your homepage, you should see a big letter R and it says Renaissance Learning underneath it. Okay, so it's um, blue and green, this big R here. You'll click on that and that will log you right into STAR. Once you're logged into STAR, then you need to click on Take a Reading Test. Okay, again, mine's gonna look different. 
Um, but you will click on take a reading test, okay? And then you'll make sure that you click on my name. Uh, for those of you who don't have to take the STAR, you should be finishing reading the pedestrian and answering the reading questions. And if you um, are taking the STAR once you finish, then you should go ahead and do that. In-person students, if we have time, we'll start with the pre-reading assignment. Um, virtual students, you know, um, I'll post later after class to let you know if we started that or not so that you know if you need to work on it. Um, I think we might have time to start it, but we probably won't have time to finish it. So you will probably have time next class period as well. Um, if you're quarantined or if you're abs, uh, if you are virtual, um, you can, of course, join the Zoom anytime um, that you want to if you want to watch class live. Um, if you are viewing class live, just remember to be on mute unless you're asking a question. And I realized I didn't let you know the bell schedule last week. So second and sixth hour starts at 932. Third and seventh hour starts at 1050. We do have lunch at 1125 and then class resumes at 1150. So if you want to call in during any of those times, you are more than welcome to. Otherwise, you can shoot me an email and let me know if you have questions. Have a wonderful day.